I knew Jeffrey was real for a bunch of reasons. I know this man very intimately, and I don't even know the man. It's frightening, quite frankly. I knew he was married, and he had told me that they had a lot of problems in their marriage, that they slept in different bedrooms. I verified that online because uh, you know, I'm a sleuth. Back in June, he was going to a Comic-Con that was nearby, and I wanted him to come to my home and see me. He was only going to see me if his wife wasn't going to go. That day, I saw a picture of his wife. It looked like she was crying because she didn't get to go to Comic-Con. Then he told me that he couldn't come because he didn't want his crew to know about us. The thing is, there's just too many coincidences for it not to be him. And like when I talk to my friends about them, they're like, oh, I'm like, oh, I know, right? Terry is a qualified marriage and family therapist who says that she believes that she had met the man of her dreams when Jeffrey struck up a romantic online relationship with her. Now, Terry claims that she sent Jeffrey thousands of dollars, but soon realized that he was scamming her. But according to Terry's nephew, James, and his wife, Natasha, they say they warned her all along that Jeffrey was a fraud. Take a look at this. Ever since my Aunt Terry has been talking to Jeffrey Dean Morgan, she's withdrawn and isolated herself from the family. Terry's a very fierce, independent woman with a strong personality. It really shows that scams can happen to anyone. My aunt has lost all insight from this person who has been manipulating her and taking advantage of her. I feel like something really isn't right upstairs. People accept these things as reality. There has to be something wrong. I've read lots of things about scams and how single women can definitely be vulnerable. The woman that I see in front of me today is, is not the woman that I saw when I was a little kid, and it terrifies me. The thing that's so frightening about this is the moments of lucid clarity that she has, where she actually acknowledges that, oh yeah, this is a scam, I am getting ripped off, and then 10 minutes later, I'm right back to talking to the person again. Every time James and I tried to convince Terry this was a scam, she wouldn't believe us. Sometimes, just to get James and I to stop, Terry would go, yeah, Jeffrey's not real. I tried to convince her to abandon her emails, to walk away from her iTunes accounts, to just get a new phone, but she refuses to walk away from those ties. There would be times where Terry would block Jeffrey in front of James and I on her phone. Then the next time James and I would go over there, she'd be talking to Jeffrey again. She has a problem. If she continues to pursue this Jeffrey Dean Morgan, then I can't help her anymore. Well, thank you guys for being here. I, I, I appreciate it. And you actually wrote in. Yes, thank you for having us. You two have talked to Terry about this from the beginning, right? Absolutely. From, from the first yes. time you heard something about it. Yeah, the, the first time she brought this up and she told me that I'm talking to Jeffrey Dean Morgan, I kind of just laughed it off. But when she started to really fall into this and say that this person is have, being romantically involved with me and I'm sending money to them and that, that was a huge red flag, especially with the iTunes cards and telling me that you're, you're sending this money to somebody you've never met. I know. No, you don't. When you were contacted, um, we have accounts on Twitter. I, I have an account on Twitter, and sometimes I have 20 or 30 accounts on Twitter. But there's one that has a check mark by right, it that says it's verified. verified. So you got contacted from a verified account? No, from a, a found uh, Well, he said it was his personal account that he talked to his fans on. But it wasn't his verified account? No. No, you can only have one verified account. You cannot have more than one. How right. come that accent drifts? Because yeah. sometimes I talk like American, sometimes I don't. But you've never spoken like this before, I've ever. I've always talked this no, way. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Don't what, what's no. What's her normal accent? She talks like a normal person, no, like I a don't. Californian. No, yes, I you don't. do. <laughs> yes, you do, Terry. How is she talking? Oh, How is let's she, talk to her. This let's Gaelic, uh, French Canadian oh, accent. It's oh, not. No. It's not you. When did you get? When did you get okay. There's something oh, wrong no, no, with no, you no, upstairs. No, 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 no. <laughs> You got so defensive the first time I said you might need help. Go ahead. I don't care. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm really confused. <laughs> so am I. I don't know where the hell this child okay, is coming hold from. Hold on, hold on. Come on. Everybody, everybody take a deep breath here. Seriously, James, talk Abs to me. Yeah. Talk to me because you're not getting along with her very well. Absolutely. You realize now that th that could be anyone because it wasn't a verified account. And, and for it to be a verified account, well, not necessarily. I mean, I am on there, and just because I'm not verified does not mean I am not a real person.